Our farm is uh, called AWG Farms, started back in 1975. It's a family-run farm. Uh, I have uh, two brothers now and my son-in-law is in the operation. This is be a third generation farm in this particular area. The main crop is sugar beets. Then we have spring wheat, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, and uh, once in a while we'll raise some edible beans. Remote sensing is a way to look at our crops during the growing season to be able to determine if we need to do any monitoring of, of disease and or fertility differences. There was an organization over in Grand Forks, North Dakota called UMAC. That organization put a camera on the space station called Isaac. Well, the biggest problem with satellite imagery is the fact that uh, Landsat we get every 16 days. And on that 16th day in this region, if, if we have cloud cover, that image is virtually useless for us. So then we have to wait another 16 days. The biggest thing with Isaac, we would get much more often. When we wanted to get that particular image, Isaac gave it to us when we wanted it versus a, a, more, a, a more rotational type satellite. And they were able to get imagery to us with a couple bands of light, the more necessary ones that we needed, which is near infrared and red. Near infrared band is, is something to do with biomass, how the crop is growing. More biomass, usually more yield potential. We're able to obtain a piece of software that's written by a local programmer in this region that allows us to take these images and manipulate them into zones within the field itself. And by doing that, we can see different patterns in the field. And within those patterns, we can manage the field differently based off of biomass or, or reflectance of the field itself. It's just a tool that we can use as a reference to be able to make better decisions. And by doing that, our farm is more profitable. And that to me is very important. <laughs>